coming to you recorded, tape delay, from wherever it is that the Mortal Kombat tournament takes place. This is Nerds United on YouTube. I am your host, Greg Mahochko. This fellow over here. He is the co-host of the year, Mike Luther. This is available for sale. Not this one, but new ones. New ones that come in their own pack like this is available for sale if you want one. Let us know in the comments. Mike, how are you? I am doing excellent. Uh, for some reason, I knew whenever I started this video that the dogs would come in and no one would come in. What's up, buddy? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm dog sitting right now. Nice. So uh, I was going to tell you at some point in time that you're going to hear barking because not this one. This one's Harley. <laughs> She's the older one. She won't bark, but the younger one will if there's, uh, I don't know, any noise at, at all outside. So. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put the. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit, but there's my uh, fierce and ferocious dog. Protecting as always, yes. Yeah. Right, Doing dog. her thing, which is being a big lazy bum. Right. And by the way, I didn't. When whenever it started, I didn't pick her up and put her in my lap. She uh, did. Yeah. Oh, and now and now, hold on. Now the other one. Was, yeah. And this is Ivy. Ivy and Harley. Yes. Aww. Yes. I forget what type of dogs they are. Small. All right. Small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. All right. So what's going on? <laughs> you're, you're drinking a beer. I'm drinking water. <sighs> it's 100%, it's 100% water. It's silver <laughs> October. So. Sadly. Uh, tell us how your late night trip to the gym was last week. We're all uh, we're on pins and needles. Okay, uh, I it was very good. Uh, obviously, they were open twenty four hours. Uh, in fact, the last two nights, I've been doing a thing, and not really on purpose, but after dinner, I'll usually I would go to the gym, but I'm like, okay, I can go later now, so it's no big deal. So I was like. Okay, I'm gonna to take a nap for like a two hours, two hour nap, you know, and I'll set my alarm clock. So sleeping from like six p.m. to eight p.m. Well, then I wake up at eight p.m. and I'm like, God, I'm still tired. All right? How about nine? And then go to bed. You know, wake up at nine. And then finally, so it ends up last two nights. I've been going to the gym at about two o'clock in the morning one night and three o'clock in the morning the other night. And I'll tell you right now, if I mean, this is a we're kind of getting the late start on the podcast here. If I'm feeling up for it, I'm debating on going again tonight. Uh, by the way, going late is the best time to go. There's two people in there, maybe. Um, so I don't have to wait on any equipment. I don't have to change my exercise because somebody's taking up, you know, say the squat rack for an hour uh, doing nothing. Um but I, I don't know if I'm going tonight or not, only because if I leave here, I think the dogs are going to start barking a lot. Mm. So I, I might test it, you know. What uh, what they're just hanging out with Nolan? Uh, they Nolan will be in his room for one, probably. Um, they can hang yeah. out with Nolan in his room, right? I, I agree, but he'll have his door closed, and I'm not going to open it. Um, so... Yeah, but I'll, I'll test it out. I'll it's see you. I'll see you there. It's and, your damn house, and there ain't gonna be yeah. no closed doors in your house, boy. Uh, he's a high school kid, so I'm keeping that door closed. <laughs> well, all right, Mike. I went on an adventure today. Where'd you go? I went to a town about five miles. Five miles the way the, the crow flies, but it's about a 15-minute drive, uh, and I got to do that way. Okay. Into I your went, kitchen? Hmm? Into your kitchen? 
I, I went actually past my kitchen. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> uh, went to a place called Mill Pond Brewery and Incubator, Millstadt, Illinois. Hey. Sat down, had myself a flight of beers, five different five ounce pours, 10 bucks. And uh, for some good beers, Mike, I brought a four pack home. What was the four pack? They call it, you would ask me that, wouldn't you? Um, Bridge Lane, I believe. Okay. And I think, they, if I remember correctly, I said that that's like their, their most popular beer. And I can see why. I started with it. Boy, howdy, I should have finished with it. <laughs> it was uh, it was very good. I look forward to going back over there. Now that I have my not-yet-one-of-a-kind Nerd United mask, I'm hoping to take you to or Nerd United on YouTube on the road and uh, go out and meet with some people. So that would be awesome. Be looking for that here on YouTube, and remember to subscribe. Perfect reason to subscribe. Perfect. Uh, aside from all the other reasons, that's true. Which that's is just one of the many. Top notch entertainment. Right there, a click away. Yes. Oh, gosh. Golly gee. <laughs> uh, Mike, what are we talking about here on the YouTube show this week? Uh, should we talk about the comic book reading I had done? Yes, because you brought some visual aids, and we'll talk about what I did with comic books as well. Yes. So, actually, uh, in beginning of October, for whatever real, I just, I'm doing sober October, and then I said, you know what, I got to do one more thing. I got, I, you know, another goal I got to set. So originally I said, okay, I'm going to read 500 pages. I just came up with 500 for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I said 500 pages. Well, I don't have really books, books, but I have comic <laughs> books. I said that counts. Uh, so I'll tell you the first, when I first started with, or I, I was, I started reading it already. Um, and I, I finished it. it is a very good book. Hopefully you can see it. Why the last man. Uh, this is book two of the series. I don't know how many books there are in the series. There's five. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, um, that's and no, where, here we go. Yeah. So uh, and and it really depends on because if you went and found like the definitive volume, I mean, you could get all of the issues in one book, like an omnibus. Uh, however, I have it broken down. I have the uh, entire run uh, broken down through five trade paperbacks. So, yeah, and and these are these are pretty thick books too. So I, five of them together, like that's that's pretty that's pretty big. That's um, what she said. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> oh yeah! All right, so there's book three. Okay. Um. So for a reference, I think that's my nose. Okay. Okay. Book four is about the same. Okay, that'd be my nose. <laughs> those, those two together, by the way. There, there's book five. Book five okay. right here on, on. So, I'm not going to show you the covers. I don't want anything to be given away. But spoiler alert: this is the rest of the story. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a very, very interesting story. Uh, no spoilers with it. Uh, essentially, there's a plague of some kind. That kills. We've talked about why the last man. And, you we know, have. We have. We have. Spoiler. But just in case this is their first YouTube video, they're like, "I wonder what you why the last man is." Well, this is like, think... The story's like 15, 16 years old, depending on where you're at. So, I mean, so I, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You're taking the Stan Lee approach, and that is, you know, like uh, in in old Marvel comics, they would have you know a, a couple of word boxes of exposition at the beginning. And I remember, I think I, I heard it, you know, through secondhand, like through Kevin Smith podcast or something like that. And the reason that they always did that in Marvel Comics was because uh, every issue of a comic could be somebody's first comic. So they have to, you know, like the first page of uh, any, you know, Amazing Spider-Man or Spider-Man or whatever it would be back in the, you know, the 70s would be, you know, Peter Parker was a, a high school science genius who got bitten by a radioactive spider see and and they uh, developed 
the the powers and the wall climbing and uh now he's uh every uh, friendly neighborhood spider-man that's not <laughs> exactly. good stanley impersonation i apologize so, uh stan if you're looking down on me i'm sorry i'm sorry so Thanks. um yes uh a quick uh, not stanley impression but well how stanley would say the story is there's a plague that has uh, basically killed every man, uh, whether every, every male species, uh, except for one person named Yorick, uh, aka Y. And, so, yeah. and and his monkey, whose name is Ampersand. Right. Yes. That's a fun little symbol. Yes. Yes, it is. So I so I finished reading that one, and actually when I when I First stated the goal of 500 pages. I was like, I don't know, even know if that's doable or not. But I'm just, you know, you know. Well, I read 100 pages the first night. Well, that's the the, the thing with picture books is that <laughs> there's a lot less reading involved. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, but at... I'll tell you another thing with picture books, aka comic books. Um, it's actually very rare for them to have uh, page numbers, which I realized. The second book that I started reading and, and finished, actually, which is the book Sarah. For, which... for reference, folks, I have three books here that are not picture books. Uh, they are books that might have a couple pictures in here. This is the 12 week year. Uh, you can you know accomplish more in 12 weeks than most people do in 12 months. This is my buddy Rob Kugler, dog named Beautiful recommend this book and St. Mick, Mick Foley. These, believe me, have not taken the, the shortness of time that what Mike's reading has taken. So yeah. Comics. Um, Check what Mark for comics. Right. Uh, yes. So um, since they don't have uh, page numbers on them, I don't know how many pages I've read now. I could go and look and count it, but I don't feel like it. So I don't know if I'm actually going to reach the 500 page goal. I might reach more. I don't know. But uh, back to Sarah. Sarah was a book by TKO Studios, which uh, during the pandemic, which are kind of still going on, but they, uh, if you order a book from them, they uh, would, and you donate a certain portion, I believe it was to your brick and mortar uh, comic book shop. Right. So what, what they did is, uh, and they put this, I guess, promotion for lack of a better term uh, out, you know, through social media and you could select your, you know, like you said, brick and mortar comic book store, obviously for us, it was Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois. And what they would do, what, uh, what TKO studios did is they actually cut a check to Twilight Comics for what, uh, you know, or, you know, any comic book store for what they would have made on, on the purchase of that sale. And actually I received confirmation from uh, Brian or Tim because they had, you know, received thanks. You know, I bought Sarah and you bought uh, another book as well, which is still sitting here, still under it. My apologies. Uh, um, actually it is literally sitting right here next to me is the uh, fearsome doctor. doctor bah, bang. Um, Thank you. But they, you know, they sent me like, hey, thanks again, and you know they sent, you know, pictures of of the checks that they received from TKO Studios. So, uh, good, hell of hell of customer service that TKO did at, at the beginning of this, uh, you know, two week flatten the curve. Yeah, yeah, and, and like you said, I, I ordered one. You ordered one, um, Sarah. I just read it uh, yesterday, I believe. Day or one of my days buy it together um actually I, fi I think i finished it today yeah i did uh, earlier and uh basically uh this short was uh summary of it uh it's about 1942 russia i believe it was oh, okay. uh, yeah world war ii uh a group of female snipers uh in the war so in, correct me if i'm wrong because i did read it you know obviously months ago when i received it and passed it on to you but it is based or loosely based on a true story i don't know but it could be i mean it wouldn't surprise me yeah yeah there, there wasn't there's nothing really like 
uh, fantasy elements about yeah. it or anything like that, where you'd be like, no, there's no way. Um, okay, so last last one I read, and I and I read this one for a reason, obviously. But this is JLA Liberty and Justice. Now I read this one because one I, I had it. Uh, <laughs> two, um, I uh, I'm like I just want I want to read one more, you know, before I started watching cartoons, uh, you know, because you always got to read your comic books for, before you watch your cartoon shows, and it's a, obviously a much thinner book. And I like the artist as well because I don't know you can't you can probably tell if you know the artist, but it's uh, Alex Ross, uh, and Paul Dini is the uh, texter. That doesn't make texter? sense. Well, I said text text by Paul Dini, art by Alex Ross, story by Alex Ross and Paul Dini. Okay, they wrote it together. Uh, that well, one. Maybe, is, I wonder if that, that's very unusual. Like I don't ever hear text by, but maybe. Does it say? Does it identify a different letterer by chance? It, it might. Let me check. Yes, lettering by Todd Klein. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Whatever. This one is actually pretty. I mean, they're all good. This was, this was oddly good in the fact that so the story is about uh, there is a a, a parasite, alien parasite that comes down and and it, it affects humanity. Um. <laughs> you, the people are basically frozen. They can't move. Uh, sort of earlier on in the story, and this does not really spoil anything, earlier on the, in the story, um, they the Justice League comes together and they find a way to cure it. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, media has um, like sensationalized everything. So, yeah, so there is uh, kind of looting going on um mass kind of mass hysteria and the justice league has to come in and it's all about like how they deal with it uh because there are some minor or smaller members let's say hawkeye uh who kind of take things too far like they push people too far yes who's hawkeye probably uh i think you you would know him as the guy who probably could be green lantern or something like that like that's a lot of people know him as that well, you said Hawkeye, but Hawkeye is in the Marvel universe, so I'm confused. Oh yeah, he is. Well, actually, in this story, he comes and he goes. He he arrives and he goes. Oh, Green Lantern's here! I can easily beat him, and then he leaves. I like, by the way, how we're both repping the shirt of the the individual who'd actually win in a fight between him and Thor. No. Not according to stats, which we'll talk about in the podcast. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, yeah, but so that was that was my reading. Well, thank you for sharing that, Mike. Yes, I uh, and, and it's it, what was that Justice League story again? Liberty and Liberty and Justice. Liberty and Justice. Amazing! It almost echoes our current situation. Oddly true, Oddly. and I don't know. I was trying to. I didn't figure out when it came out, too. Uh, and I couldn't... I mean, I didn't look that hard, to be honest with you. Uh, but I couldn't see anything. I would probably be back here somewhere. 2003. It's not new, yeah. It, uh, yeah. It's kind of crazy that it's almost 20 years old. Yeah. So, I was also surrounded by comic books today. What'd you do? You know that comic book room I have? I'm working on it. I had to, I actually ran ran out of a, I had just was it earlier this week? Yeah, I think it was earlier this week that I uh, went and got a new uh, pack of bags and boards, hundred in each, and I ran out today. So I uh, went back, took my boy back to Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois, and. Uh, uh, got some more bags and boards and actually picked up some Silver Age boards as well. I already had some Silver Age uh, bags. I acquired, I paid like, I, I overpaid, but I paid like 35 or 40 bucks for essentially like three like uh, paper grocery sacks of, co- of old comics. This was seven, eight, nine, almost 10 years ago now, maybe. Uh, maybe not that long. It was probably since the podcast. So let's say, Let's call it 2014, 2015. So 
Um, but I paid for them. Never really went through them with the fine tooth comb uh, and still have it. But I know that they need to be bagged and boarded. And also um, took uh, a look, went properly through uh, a collection that I acquired from, excuse me, from uh, uh, the parents of, of a, a friend of mine who passed a few years back. And they said, we, we know that, you know, you're a nerd and you guys were nerds together back when you were kids. So we think that, you know, his comic book collection might be in good hands with you. So I'm just, you know, I was going through seeing what was there. He has uh, X-Men number one from 1993. It's the Jim Lee uh, covers that, you know, it's like three covers. And then the, on the, on the third one, it folds out to reveal Magneto, but it's, it's a, uh, it's kind of a classic poster, right. a Jim Lee poster. And he had all of those. He has two of the uh, uh, Wolverine uh, number 50s, uh, which I shared that photo on the Nerd United Facebook and uh, Instagram. And uh, he had two. One you could tell. I mean, even as a, a kid, he, he read one and he put the other one right in a bag in a board. <laughs> and it looks like, it honestly, it looks like it's never been uh, out of that. So uh, um, he also has a an issue of the silver surfer number 50 which was a third printing um but you know still might be of some value uh what i'm going to i'm going to get with the family uh i appreciate that they think that i you know should have this but he had kids you know uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna tr see what i can do as far as getting it in into you know his son's hands you know, right like that or you know getting a getting an appraisal on some of this stuff and, and saying, I know if you take it here, you can cash it in. If you just want to hold on to it because it was your dad, you know, your dad's stuff, then, then, uh, that's what it is. But, um, you know, so I was going through that and again, bagging and boarding all of the stuff that I have. I actually sent a picture to, uh, our friend Tim from, uh, uh Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois. And uh, I sent him a picture of my work in progress. He says, you need to find some time to read. I said, Tim, I don't even know what those words mean. Anymore. <laughs> uh, but it's slowly coming together. Uh, hopefully, I'm not going to put the Halloween deadline on myself. I think it could be done. I, then I looked down here and I'm like, oh, I've got comics here. I've got comics here. I've got, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, you just got to focus on the room. Mm hmm yeah, so you just got to focus on the room. That's it. Yeah. Well, true. But if I can get it all together, uh, everybody knows the standard height of a, of a laptop screen. And I have comics stacked behind the laptop equal to the height of the laptop screen. So getting it all, yeah, you know, put together would be good. And then, uh, then we got to just get them out of the baby's room and, uh, uh, you know, go, go on like all the things are starting to pile up and i'm not ready mike i'm not ready <laughs> uh, i can understand yeah but you're not drink i drink yeah. the tears away i really thought when you're talking about how you went back to uh, twilight comics i really thought you were gonna say it. i went back to twilight comics and i got a couple more comic books <laughs> uh, i went with my son and he picked up uh, uh one of those uh is it, are, I think they're just called golden books. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he got the one that is like the golden book telling of the Minions movie. He okay. picked that one out himself. And they did have a single issue in my pull folder. So I picked up uh, um, Bloodshot number nine. Okay. And I'm all right with that, Mike, because only one. I did peruse the new layout there at Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois. Um but I didn't, I, I just, I can focus. Focus that? Well, that's good, yeah. So, yeah. How's the new layout look? Very nice. Uh, but I'm old and I don't like change, so I, no, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no it, it's great. It's, uh, they, they've done a lot, of, they put a lot of effort into it and, and, you know, they closed the store for like a weekend mm -hmm. um, to, to be able to have this transformation. So uh, good job to all involved. Saw a few uh, unfamiliar faces today, so. And it was nice. I went in there on Saturday afternoon, and I wasn't the only person in there. So, uh, whatever they're doing, it's working. So, good job to everybody yep. at Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois. All right, perfect. 
Um, what did I, did I read anything? I haven't had time. I'm still working my way through Convergence. Okay. Uh, and I'm still working my way through uh, Justice Society of America. And I think that's it. Last time I remember you talking about, yeah. So, ah, you know, it, it, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I'll never read all the comics I have. Unless, yeah. God forbid, knock on wood, uh, you know, like I've suddenly stricken disabled and have nothing, no time but to sit and read comics all day long. That's and even surprise. then, I'm pretty sure the kids would keep me preoccupied. Yeah, I think that. Plus, I think people would be like, hey, he needs something to do, and they would give you comic books. You know, so you just have an endless supply of them. Yeah, please, uh, folks, I'm not at that level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, I was uh, coming, you know, uh, going through my stuff. We've got to do some more giveaways, uh, especially before these twins arrive. Uh, so if you want free stuff, just leave a comment. It's, it's it's simple. I'll yep. send you something. I don't care at this point. I just got to get out of my house. So uh, please comment. Please subscribe. Take my free shit. I don't care. Comment right here. Wherever you comment at. Or over here. Usually it's below. Yeah. Not, oh, it depends how you find them. Are you, are you upside down maybe? I don't know. They're coming here. Uh, you know what? You say that, but Ooh, I did a Zoom chat last week where one of my friends started out uh, on his side. Oh, oh. <laughs> interesting. Oh, oh, now you're upside down. Oh, Greg's turning himself around. The, that's the only way. You you can't, like, rotate the other direction. Right. It's only clockwise or counterclockwise. I wouldn't even pay attention. So, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, I didn't make everybody sick just now uh, with my crazy rotation. They, uh, they had a good time. So uh, what are we talking about on the podcast to, to, today or this episode? Uh, crazy social media commenters and people who claim to be fans and all they do is bitch and move. Okay, so we're going to do a six-hour podcast. We, there's probably enough content out there, but no. Uh, yes. I do have one example I know for sure that I shared with you, and then something else that just uh, popped up. Hey, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Michael B. Jordan's uh, and Warner Brothers uh, collaborating on a Static Shock movie, and why everybody in the comment section, you know, is like, he's too old to play Static Shock. Oh, no shit. <laughs> read the story. You don't even have to read the story. Just read the article. Or read the, I mean, read the headline. So, uh, that 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 fired me up a little bit because I just I've come to the conclusion perhaps now more than ever. I hate stupid people, Mike. Yeah. And we are inundated by stupidity. That is true. So are facts. uh, Maybe next week on the show, we will uh, sit and watch idiocracy together. I don't know. There you Uh, go. But I can't, I can't do it anymore, Mike. The world has become too stupid. Yeah. So, I'm off my soapbox. We're off of this episode of Energy United on YouTube. Mike's going to do all the pointing as I do all the talking. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit that little bell to get the notifications of when we drop new episodes. And comment if you want some free stuff. I'll send you something. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't. It's like a loot crate, except it's free and it's not as frequent (laughs) And I don't know. I just I just got to get rid of stuff. So uh, comment, whatever. Uh, we will see you next time on Nerd United on YouTube. Yeah, he is uh, Mike Luther, the co-host of the year. That I'm sorry that I smacked my laptop and jarred your vision. My name is Greg Mahochko. I am your host. And we remind you this week and every week to be kind. And rewind.